What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Winter Wildcard Collins to review a centre back that's got 89 pace straight up. That is incredible, that is something we do not see very often. He also has got 73 dribbling, 84 defending, 87 physicals with a 73 passing as well. And on top of that, he ain't a small centre back. We're not talking about like a 5 foot 11, 5 foot 10 centre back, we are talking about a 6 foot two center back which means he's gonna have that reach to his game now this is the thing right colin's original card in this game it isn't a gold it isn't even a silver it's a bronze so ea have upgraded this card a crazy crazy amount and that is straight up a w from ea because they have gone ahead and gave him only a plus four to the pace but they gave him a plus 25 to the dribbling a plus 25 to the defending a plus 20 to the physicals a plus 34 to the passing and a plus 22 to the shooting as well he's got medium medium work rates which obviously isn't the greatest work rates to have in a center back position but it's still okay i'm kind of surprised how much i actually picked the card up for 154k i would have honestly thought seeing that it's a center back with good links as well, with 89 pace, I thought a lot of people would have jumped onto this card to see how good he actually is. So I'm really surprised he's going for 154k. I would have thought he went for way, way more than that. Now, the chem style I've decided to go for is a shadow chem style. Even though the guy already has 88 acceleration, 90, 90 uh, sprint speed, I still decided to pretty much max it out with 98 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. If anyone, and I repeat, anyone outpaces this guy, I'll be very, very disappointed. Now, the reason I haven't gone for like an anger chem style, knowing obviously it does boost the aggression and stuff, is because I feel like a lot of people is just going to want to max out this guy's pace. Everyone wants to make sure no one outpaces this guy. So I feel like the shadow chem style is going to be the most popular. But if you want to go for an anger chem style, you can obviously go ahead and do it. And also the other chem style you could go for is a sentinel. The sentinel is also very good because of the aggression boost. Now, the passing ability on the card kind of tells me that he isn't going to be like a ball playing center back he's going to be a center back that you just keep it very simple with with his 84 short passing his dribbling ability his 90 agility is looking really nice and his 84 balance as well is looking top tier it's just the two stats that i would have liked to see a little bit higher is the reactions and the composure those two are really important for a center back and him having not him having not really much of it let's say like 80 reactions 75 composure is kind of disappointing but we'll see how it is in game now, he's defending ability. Hmm. Especially with the Shadow Chem style boost. 93 interceptions. 92 heading accuracy. 85 defensive awareness. 99 standing tackling with a 96 slide tackling. Saying that he is a 6'2 player, I am expecting him to put in, a, put in a very, very solid tackle. Now, the physicals. 90 jumping with 92 heading accuracy while also being a six foot two player yeah you best believe we are going to try to score a goal with him and hopefully it will be a header he has also got 81 stamina 93 strength with 81 aggression obviously the aggression doesn't look anything top tier but it is still definitely good but the 93 aggression you get this guy in a contact to contact situation yeah he is not getting pushed off the ball now the links for this guy come on the links are insane, like genuinely insane. You got Sule, which you get a uh, which you get a uh, strong link with, not perfectly. I was about to say perfect, but it's not. It's strong link with. You also then have Neuer, which you get a strong link with. You can then go ahead and buy Road to the Knockout uh, Royce, which you get a hyper link with. And then you can go ahead and also buy the signature signings Witzel, which you get a strong link with. Like the links are incredible, straight up incredible. And obviously in the left back position as well, you have got Shules versus Ice and Fire Card, which you get a hyper link with. As as well so yeah the links top top tier now there's only going to be one position i'm going to be playing this guy in and it is going to be the center back position in a 4-4-2 formation so let's get into the games stay on him here i'm trying to not allow him to have that shot and collins does come over quite nicely and put in a very good block i want to see how he feels on the ball just to see if he's going to be one of those players that actually feels nice on it okay a little bit slow there little nice touches i must admit obviously i'm overdoing it in this position but i want to just see how he feels yeah, he actually feels okay. He feels way better than what I actually expect him to feel. That's a good turn from Di Natale, but I'm going to stay on him with Collins. Hopefully, I can use that strength to completely push him off the ball. And he didn't really do it. It's like he was really struggling to push him off, and that is terrible. But Castillo's is there. Well played. Passes straight to him. Go for a fake shot down. Should we go for this pass just to see if it's going to work out? I promise you guys, that was, an, that was a full pelt overtop through ball to try to get Dembele in behind and it literally just went a little bit ahead of him 
I don't want to fully commit this. I reckon he's going to try to pass to the striker. So then I can use Collins' pace to catch up to that. Keep, cleanly get that ball and just play a simple pass. I don't want to overdo with him. That's a good run with Di Natale. I'm just going to cover this, push out to him here, and then go in for that solid slide tackle. You see how fast he actually got out to the player there? That was really good from him. Let's see what we can actually do from this corner. So he hasn't actually pushed out the keeper. I'm going to hit it towards the near post. Oh, wow. He's controlling Mertens. Nah, that's not the greatest of crosses. And we was pretty much wide open as well. Collins, can you recover? Yes, you can. Imagine this goes in. Green top. It wasn't actually too bad of a shot. Pass that across. There you go. Bull roll that. There you go, man. I'm telling you, he doesn't feel bad on the ball. Can I go for a bull roll there as well? Yes, I can. It did take him a quite a while to turn, like fully turn there. But it wasn't a bad turn. And that's a really good pass from him. He's just going to straight up run, isn't he? He's not going to beat Collins for pace. Yeah, there you go, man. Nice little bull roll as well. Not the greatest touch going around the corner. And we do get a little bit lucky to actually come out with a ball. Let's go for one of these passes again. I aimed it completely down the line. Hakimi fully commit towards that as well. It's just, it's not a great pass. Win that header. Come on, Collins. You're six foot two with great jumping. There you go, man. Well played. That's actually a good run from Dean Natale. I was trying to switch over to Collins so badly. But we eventually get there. And look at that pace. The catch up to someone like Dean Natale. Well played, man. That's a good run. That is a really good run. I uh, Once again, Collins, I need you to use your pace. Nice transition. Well played to get in front of the player as well. It's just I've overdone it slightly. But can we put in another tackle? Where's this ball bouncing to? What? Sule, be there, please. Thank you. Cover that near post. Collins, once again, he actually loses it to your boy Banzer this time. I think he's going to go for it again, right? Yeah, he is. Collins, can you win this one? Kind of. That's a good pass down. I'm going to try to get out to him here. I didn't really get out to him. He, he kind of just came towards me. And Collins went in for like an automatic tackle. Get out to him here. Don't allow that shot. Oh my God. <laughs> Chong, bro. What have I just witnessed for a shot? I think that actually went through Collins', Collins legs as well, right? I'm pretty sure it did. Let me take a closer look at this. No, nah, it didn't go through his legs, but he went very, very close to him. I mean, I can't go against it, right? It's an amazing shot. I'm going to push out here, try to be as aggressive as possible. And he's so, so quick to get out to plays that you can definitely use him as like a pressing center back. And we have got a chance here. That's such a good pass. And can we get the goal? We can't. Let's see what we can do off this corner, though. Come on. Hit it towards the near post. He's controlling N'Golo, can't he? This is our opportunity. Collins versus N'Golo. We end up hitting a crossbar. Are you serious? Are you serious? It looked like he didn't even get like the right animation or anything like that. Especially against N'Golo Kante. I really wanted to score that. Wait, is that Collins? How quick did he get back into position? What? How fast did he run? Can he win this header? He can't, but CR7 was in front of him. Let's give this another go. Come on, Collins. He's still controlling N'Golo Kante towards the near post. We need to punish him. Please. There you go. He's won it again, but the accuracy just wasn't the greatest. It was hard to get that on target, though. It was kind of like leaning away from goal as well. Cover that gap. He has to take that touch up. There you go, Collins. Well played. Covered it really nicely. Just go for a ball right there. Turn the player inside out. Just go for a simple pass, and it's perfect. Push out here. Don't allow him to get that ball. There you go. Well played. Use that strength to hold off that player as well. Just move forward with him, and I'm going to try to go for this pass. And it's actually a really good pass. Give it over to Vinny. Vinny. Referee, saw him out. We've actually got a penalty. Is that a red card? No, it's going to be a yellow. Collins, this is your moment, bro. This is your moment. You can score a goal right now. Come on. Where is he? He's all the way down here. He's got 48 penalties. And we're still going to try to hit this right into the corner. You know what? This probably ain't going to end well. It probably ain't. Oh my God, look how big the circle is. Did you see the fans in the background? Nah, did you see the fans in the background? They tried to dodge the ball. I forgot to time it, and it goes horribly wrong. He's actually moved the keeper very, very far out. You know what? Usually when people move the keeper that far out, I just full pelt it towards the near post and hope my player can at least get it on target. He does a lot of those headers, man. Like, even if I try to, let's say, low driven the header there, it still wouldn't be great because of the angle I'm in. I can't control anyone in the centre-back position. He's going to pass up as well. I tried to read it like an absolute book, and Collins just literally grabs it off the player. Push out here. Is he going to just run in a straight line? I had a feeling he was going to do that. So we're going to go in for that slide tackle, and it's going to be a solid slide tackle as well. 
Cover that with Sule. Then push out with uh, Collins here. He doesn't put in a solid tackle. He doesn't put in an aggressive tackle. And I am noticing that over and over again. He's not that kind of person to like really follow through, let's say, on a, on a tackle. He's that kind of person to go into it then get the ball maybe and just come straight back into position which is something i don't really enjoy about him like right there he needs to be aggressive he needs to go in solid and he needs to come out with that ball push out slightly to him not over committing but simply collecting the ball go for a few turns of him you see what i mean like the dribbling is actually decent like, you can definitely do that time to time you don't need to be scared and you know try not to go for a turn no you can definitely do it he's gonna cut down isn't he he is Collins, transition over. Well played, man. I really do love his transition speed. Like, you can tell it's quite smooth. You can tell he's just really, really quick at going left and right. And that is a terrible pass. Back into the middle. We reach out to it. Can I come out with that? Yes, I can. There you go, man. Push out here. Not fully committed, but you know what? Look at Collins' recovery. Look at that recovery. To, to me to realize, obviously, he needed to get back into position is uh, really well played for me. But the thing is, it all comes down to how his pace is. It all comes down to how fast he is. It all comes down to his strength as well to get in front of Bernardo Silva there. I've read time that, and apparently we got a goal. Who will take that. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing three games with Collins. Unfortunately, we did not come out of a goal, and we didn't come out with a single assist. We obviously tried to get a goal. There was even a penalty that I decided I wanted to go top corner with a person that's got 48 penalties. Yeah, it was never, ever going to end well. But hey, we move on. We learn from our mistakes. It is what it is. Now, the two things that I would say really stood out on this card was definitely the pace and the dribbling ability. The pace was insane. The transition speed, the way he was getting out to play as well beautiful the dribbling ability he actually felt way way nicer than what i than what i thought he was going to feel like like you look at a 67 dribbling with a 74 ball control and the 80 reactions and you're thinking to yourself hmm he's not going to feel great even though he's got 90 agility he's probably going to be sluggish in some areas but honestly he wasn't he genuinely wasn't like you can tell by me doing a few ball rolls, doing a few twists and turns, how confident I was with his dribbling ability. Now, the disappointing things about this card, the aggression, 100%. The aggression isn't anything insane. He's not an aggressive tackler. He doesn't go in with a lot of aggression, which means he's not guaranteed to come out with that ball, which is something I was quite annoyed about, let's say, because there was a lot of times I was going in for the tackle, I was coming out with it. But then there was a, a lot of other times I was going in for a tackle and the ball was just bouncing back to my opponent. The other thing I would say is the defending animations. There is a lot of times he does get himself into some good animations, okay? It's just there is a lot of other occasions where he gets in, he gets himself into some terrible animations. Like there was a few blocking animations he got himself into, which is shocking, genuinely shocking. Because what he would do is I would put him perfectly in front of the ball, but then he would do some ducking animation, go onto the ground and allow the ball to go over him. And the next thing you know, we end we ended up conceding. So yeah, that is something I definitely didn't like about him. The animations for defending and the, and the aggression. Now, the card is going for around 150k. Do I believe it's worth it? Honestly, 150k isn't bad. It isn't. It's just when you can pick up a Rule Breakers Klosterman for around 70,000 coins, I do not believe 150k is worth it. I don't. I would rather, honestly, I would rather pick up Klosterman. I would. The thing about Klosterman that he has over this Collins card, like the aggression is the exact same. It's just the defensive awareness on Klosterman is simply incredible. I noticed there were some occasions where Collins was trying to track a player, but then he wouldn't fully commit to track it. With Klosterman, what I noticed when using it is you can tell this guy is just tracking everyone. This guy's reading lanes. He's man marking. He's literally, literally doing it all. So for me, honestly, I would take Rule Breakers Klosterman over this Collins card. Now, would I take, let's say, a Sule? over Klosterman as well. Not over Klosterman, sorry, over Collins as well. I would. I genuinely would. I feel like Sule's tackling ability is better than uh, and Collins, and I feel like that aggression, that strength is way, way better as well. Now, where would I put him in the defender's tier list? I'm going to say it straight up. He is in an S tier card. He isn't because the animation, defending animations I saw and the aggression as well, he is not an S tier card. Do I believe he is a B tier card though? No shot, man. He isn't. He is definitely an A tier tier card i don't think i can push push him into the s tier because of the animations i saw and because he's not really that aggressive kind of tackler which i really do enjoy in this game now i hope you guys obviously did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace